Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the size of Mercury relative to the other objects in the solar system. For example, the four inner planets, the four terrestrial planets, which are by far the four smallest planets of the eight planets. Here we have a size comparison between the terrestrial planets here and between the four gas planets. And you can see, hopefully from this distance, that these are so much smaller than the gas planets. And of course, compared to the sun, you only see a small little sliver of the sun. Any of the planets are relatively small compared to the size of the sun. Now, here's Mercury, the very first planet. This is, of course, not in the correct distance relationship, but it's the innermost planet. You can see it's just a puny little thing relative to the other four planets. Here we have a relatively good representation of the size relationship between the four planets. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. It turns out that Earth is the biggest of the four planets, and if you were to put them on a scale, the mass of the Earth actually is bigger than the other three planets combined of Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Now, Mercury is about 1 20th the size of the Earth. 1 20th in mass and 1 20th in volume. Now, since the Earth can fit into the Sun about a million times, a little bit more than a million, you could fill the Sun up with more than 20 million Mercuries. Imagine if the Sun was hollow and you wanted to fill it up with objects the size of Mercury, you would need more than 20 million of them, just to give you a feel of the size comparison between the two. Actually, Mercury is so small that it's not even the largest object, even if you were to put it among all the moons of the solar system. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Here are the four largest moons in the solar system. Three of them belong to Jupiter, one of them belongs to Saturn. So we have Ganymede, Callisto, and Io, which are the three of the four biggest moons of Jupiter, and Titan, which is the biggest moon of Saturn. And it turns out that both Ganymede and Titan are larger in size than Mercury. Not in mass, because Mercury is a lot more dense. Mercury has a lot more metal in its interior, and therefore the mass of Mercury far exceeds the mass of Ganymede and Titan. But in size, these two moons are bigger than Mercury. Now, interestingly enough, Titan has an atmosphere and Mercury does not. And we'll get into the details of why that might be, because one of the factors in whether or not a planet has an atmosphere is its gravity, and the gravitational force of Mercury, even though it's a little bit smaller than Titan, and maybe that's also the reason why, but both because it's more dense and it has more mass, the gravitational attraction of Mercury is larger than that of Titan, and yet Titan has an atmosphere and Mercury does not. So there's one other big factor that we'll talk about. Notice Callisto is just slightly smaller than Mercury. It's almost the same size. Callisto is just slightly smaller, and Io is considerably smaller, but Io is still bigger than our moon to get a feel. So Mercury falls right in between those five objects, or between the four other objects, I should say. And that should hopefully give you a pretty good feel for how big the planet Mercury actually is. It's um, not very exciting size-wise, but there's some very interesting parts of Mercury that we'll, we'll uh, uncover as we get into discovering Mercury in this fashion. So, there you go. That's the size of Mercury. We'll move on to the next topic.